Photoshop's enhanced type tools make finding the right font for your project fast and painless. For example, if you're not familiar with all of the fonts that you have installed, instead of looking at them as small little previews, Photoshop can now render the type instantly in the image area. This means that if we select a type layer on the Layers panel and then tap the T key in order to select the Type tool, when I choose the Type menu here, you'll notice that as I roll over different fonts, those fonts are instantaneously updated in my image area. In fact, it kind of makes this area right over here no longer necessary. So what I'm going to do is go to the Type menu and then choose Font Preview Size and choose None. That way, the next time I access the Type menu, you'll notice it's a lot more compact and I can see more of my image area. Now, searching for fonts is also a lot easier. If I happen to know the name of the font, for example, I can go ahead and start typing that in and it will select that font. But I could also search on different attributes. For example, if I knew that I was looking for a bold font, I could just type in bold. If I knew that I wanted it to be italic, I could start typing in italic. And Photoshop will show me all of the fonts that I have that have a bold and italic. I could add a name to that if I wanted to as well in order to narrow down the search even more. Then I simply select the font that I want to use and it updates the type in the document. But maybe you still don't see exactly the font that you want, in which case you can go ahead and use Typekit. You'll notice that from the Font menu, on the upper right-hand corner, we have a new Typekit icon which will take us directly to Typekit.com. If you're a subscriber to CC Complete or to Photoshop CC, you have access to hundreds of desktop fonts that you can use in Photoshop. As you can see, it's automatically filtering by desktop use, and then we can go in and refine that filter even more. Say, for example, we were looking for a script font, or maybe we're looking for a sans serif font. I can even refine that search further by coming down here and maybe selecting a specific property. Or if I know that there are certain letters that are really important, I can go ahead and type those letters in to get a live preview. Once I find a font that I want, I simply click to use that font. I'll sync the selected fonts to have the Creative Cloud desktop app automatically download and install those fonts. So if it's not installing automatically, just make sure that you've got the Creative Cloud desktop app running. Once that font is installed, let's go ahead and just move back to Photoshop. I can do a quick search. For example, I could start typing in Franklin. Or if I just want to see all of my Typekit fonts, I can filter just on those fonts. Then I can go ahead and select the one that I want to use. And of course, this feature and functionality is not only available in the Options bar, but also if I click here on the Character panel. As you can see, choosing the perfect font to convey your message just got a whole lot easier in Photoshop CC.